Hey guys, back again with a, another quick uh, video for you guys. Um, I meant to tack this on the end of my I Believe slash Cool Chords lesson, and I forgot to until I hit stop on the recorder. And rather than editing that back in and splicing it back in and, and de dealing with all that, um, I just thought I'd go ahead and plug it right here. Uh, if you want to know more about some cool chords, one of the books that I highly recommend and I have, have uh, recommended before is the Hal Leonard... Uh, guitar Chords Deluxe, okay? Uh, this says that it has over 1,600 chords and variations, okay? This has got a really good, um, thorough, um, detailed information on how chords are constructed, different variations and fingerings on how you can create your chords, different chord names and how, how they get their names, uh, some theory behind that. And um, even goes into triads, sevenths, extended chords, different things like that. It looks like this. So you have some, some regular chords. You have some more advanced chords and some chords that are kind of broken up. It calls, calls these broken set chords. And even some chords that, that run on uh, the middle strings, which typically when you play a chord, you think of playing it on either some of the bottom strings or some of the top strings or both. But this, this book shows some chords that relate to playing chords that are on the middle four strings from the A through the B, such as, now it may not go over this one, but an easy one I think of is the C7. You know, if we play that up and down the neck, we'd have D7, E7, and those are only using the middle strings, okay? So I just wanted to push, uh, to plug that because I really recommend this and recommend this to my students. And uh, um, I, this is one of the best guitar books I've found and it's only like eight bucks. and. Uh, you can check it out on ericbatycom slash shop, and that'll take you directly to where you can do a search for Guitar Chords Deluxe, and it's a Hal Leonard book, okay? Just wanted to tell you about that before I forgot. Now, this is going to be an official review of a brand new pick that uh, a company sent me, and um, just to tell you a little bit about it, it is called Plectone, okay? It's called the Plectone Pick. I'm going to try to get that a little closer there. Okay, it says uh, double the pick, double the sound. All right, the Plectone guitar pick coupler enables you to use two guitar picks simultaneously. From the first strum of your guitar, you will experience new and complex tones with increased volume. You will never go back to a single pick again. Okay, now that's their claim here. Um, it even has an, an SQR code on the back here, I think. Um, but it comes in this little package. They sent me a few of these, and it looks like this, okay? And that's the Plectone pick, okay? Nice little logo. I like that color. And it's got this little gel thing in between. It's actually two picks. Gel thing in between with like a hard metal piece right there so that, you, you know, it actually gives you some stability there. Uh, feels kind of, you know, odd because it's, it's almost like a thick pick, but it's not. It's two thin picks together. But it's nice and soft and cushiony. Um... And these are actually 0.5 millimeter, two of them stuck together here. So it it's, gives you the idea of having two picks simultaneously. Now, let me give you an idea of what my uh, guitar pick sounds like that I use, which is the Dragonheart Pure, Dragon's Heart Pure guitar pick. And uh, I'm gonna show you what that sounds like. <laughs> Okay, just some messing around pick stuff. Now let's try that with the plectone. Okay, uh, first of all, just some chords, you know, variations. <laughs> Play it slower. Uh, and I'm, I am actually angling it using different vari uh, variations. It's going by so quickly that you can't hear the double. I'm hearing. 
any more pick noise than anything. So let's try some strumming. Okay, a lot of snappy pick sound. Oddly enough, it doesn't feel too uncomfortable. I, mean, I would think it would be being that thick. Um, I don't know, it feels, even though there's a huge gap in between here, it feels almost like the pick is that thick uh, because of this little gel piece in the middle. Now this might be good for strumming and it's good to have just, you know, if you wanted to have a different sound on the guitar and everything. Uh, it may sound even better if they had put maybe some thicker gauge picks on there. The .50s are the, about the smallest, some of the smallest you can get. I think it's the smallest uh, the, uh, Tortex brand that Dunlop sells, and that's the orange ones. Actually, that's the red ones. Very slappy, very snappy sounding. Now, if I use picking, it kind of, I don't know, it kind of goes out the window when I do some picking. If I try to do the same thing. caught in between the strings when I want to do some individual picking things like that. Very, like I said, very slappy, very snappy. And it may be good for beginners. It's very easy on the hands. That gel actually has, acts like a good cushion. Uh, to me, this is more of a novelty item though than an actual pick I would use. It might be something good, like I said, in the studio if you wanted a certain song to sound a certain way. It would probably be awesome on a 12 string guitar because you're already dealing with harmonized strings and things like that and it already has that kind of doubled up sound but for regular guitar uh, I, it's not my cup of tea I'll just say that right now for more advanced players I don't see how they would switch from this uh, or to this from a single pick So with that pick, and I've said this many times, with a pick of flopping around like that, you're not going to get much control because by the time you're down to the next string, the pick is still stuck on the previous string and vice versa. So there's a lot of wiggle room here. And for most bluegrass guitarists, they will recommend the thicker the pick, the better. And that's the same case with this. This is something to fun, uh, fun to strum around with. It's, I don't really have to clamp it down or anything. But for me and my preferences and what I do and my style, See, one thing when I aim, you have, when I aim with the bottom of the pick on the G, the top of the pick is stuck on that D. So I'm playing strings that I don't even want to hear. And it's going to mess up my playing. It's not going to make it clean. It's going to make it very sloppy. Uh, because you're used to playing with the bottom end of a pick. So you're going to be playing with the bottom that's there. You're not going to have time to slip the, the pick in between the strings and play the bottom end with this. Even if you did, you'd still be hitting another string with the bottom, the other pick. So for my, you know, choice and everything, picking wise for individual notes and for solos and things, I wouldn't recommend this because it's just gonna get caught on other strings. But if you like to strum and if you're a beginner, uh, it's, I'd say it's a really good idea for, for that. Good little Christmas gift, you know, of course Christmas is past, but birthday gift, anniversary gift, whatever, a nice little novelty item. And now they, they sent me some samples, so I don't know how much the, uh, it costs, um, but you may be able to find them on, on Amazon and you can go uh, to there by going to ericbatycom slash shop that's my affiliate link and uh, that helps support the channel it doesn't cost you anything extra it just helps uh, they give me a small commission on whatever's uh, sold there or you can go directly to their website at www.plectone.com and Plectone is P-L-E-C T-O N E. Not sure if that's going to zoom in or not the right way. Plectone. Okay. You can go check them out, and see what you think about them. But as far as, like I said, my official review is they're good for novelty, not so much for individual, you know, bluegrass fast picking, and for what I do. And they may be really awesome. I bet they sound really awesome for strumming on a um, 12 string guitar. But try them out, see what you think about them. Don't take my word for it. If it's something you'd like to be interested in, check them out. Plectone Plectrum. Um, so that's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it's been informative to you guys. 
And uh, who knows, maybe they'll come out with uh, another pick that has a little bit thicker picks on there. Either way, you're still going to run into that same um, problem of two, two, two individual strings um, or two picks on the different strings that uh, you might not want to have sound. So, but definitely check them out. But as for me, I think I'm going to stick to my Dragon's Heart and sign you off here with uh, maybe some more picking for you guys.